Uh, hey, honeybee. Can I come in? Mark and Art are hardly working. <laughs> oh, you've noticed? Look, I, uh, I found something. Of yours, I mean. I was cleaning the guest bedroom, and I found this under the bed. I thought it was junk, but I saw my name on the top of it, and I... I read it. It's your... You start... You start with, I love you, but not enough to stay. And as I kept reading, I realized that this, this was your suicide note that I was supposed to find, dated for three months ago. I, fuck, I don't, I don't know what to even say. I don't pretend to understand what you go through. I don't think I could even imagine, but... Honey, three months ago we went to Hawaii. We took pictures on the beach, laughing and, and kissing and... And now I find this note. And I wonder, were you, were you really smiling? Or were you so miserable inside? And I just couldn't see it. Shit. I'm I'm doing this all wrong. I just How long have you felt like this? And why didn't you tell me? Yeah, honeybee. I'm upset. Because did you think for a second about how I would have felt finding this letter? If you had gone through with this. Jesus. I I can't even think about it. Do you still feel this way? No. Would you tell me if you did? Look, I love you. I know you know that. But I need you to hear it. I love you. And as someone who loves you, this letter terrifies me. I know you struggled with depression before. I just... I just never thought it would make you feel like this was the only answer. I'm terrified. I don't want to lose you. I don't want you to be in pain, but I'm powerless to do anything. I can't punch the depression away. I can't hold you in my arms and shield you from it. And apparently, I can't even realize when you're crying out for help, even though you're standing right in front of me. No. You don't need to tell me it's okay. It's not. Honey, Miss Letter, please, just tell me the truth. Do you still feel like this? Are you gonna hurt yourself? No, honeybee, no. I'm not upset with you. I'm not mad. I'm scared. Come here. I've got you. Look. I think we're both out of our depths here. White knuckling it isn't working. It's time to call in some reinforcements, honey. Professionals. People that know how to stop this motherfucker. Okay? 
Wake? Are you serious? No. Listen to me. You are the most badass person I know. And I'm not just saying that. Look. If your arm was broken and you were just walking around with it, wouldn't people say, Hey, you should get that fixed? Depression is invisible to the eye, but that doesn't make it... But that just makes it more insidious. It doesn't play nice, and it doesn't pull punches. The fact that you can just walk around, that you can work, you can go on dates with me, all while fighting this thing. Honey... You're a badass. And sometimes, even if you are a badass, you still need help. Reinforcements. You need people that can help you. It doesn't make you weak. Asking for help isn't weak. And if anyone says that to you, they can deal with me. I'm serious. I'll fuck him up. <laughs> there you are. There's my love's gorgeous smile. I've missed it. Of course I'll go with you. I'll stay as long as you want me to. We'll talk to the doc and get this sorted. But, honeybee, please, I need you to promise that you won't try to hide this from me. I know you want to protect me. I know you think that this whole thing is too much for me. But I'm not running. I'm still here. And I'm still gonna be here. Today... Tomorrow, as long as you want me, because I'm madly in love with you, and if I could just snap my fingers and make your depression go away, I would, but as awesome as I am, even I can't do that. So, let's call for backup, yeah? What do you say? Thank God. Okay. Okay. I've got you. Let's go. Hey, listen. You're not alone in this. Not anymore. I've got you. I promise.